Hi, this is Mary again and Dreamy Goat Design Studios video on dying with safflower, day number two. Although really, day number two is like two weeks after day number one because I got busy and just kind of let it go. So I'm regrouping, let's see what we got. Um, yeah, let's take a look. Here is our safflower, remember this beautiful petal? Okay, there's our safflower and what did we get? Well, we got old gold, I would call it. Um, this is First Bath Safflower with Tussa Silk. Now this has not been washed, so it looks pretty scraggly, but it's a beautiful silk, a beautiful Tussa Silk. But I am showing you the Ecru, the undyed Tussa Silk, so you can see how naturally honey colored, colored it is to begin with, which um, I'm assuming, I know for a fact actually, affects the color to a bit, to a little bit, okay? Uh, here we have our standard uh, Blue Face Lester, the Click Attack yarn, the, uh, the iron, the dipping in the iron, and then my wool flannel, and I love the kind of dark mottled color it gives. Uh, also, this has not been washed, okay? So I think it's interesting that it's giving us very dark golden yellows. Uh, when I see photos of safflower yellow, I oftentimes see very pale, beautiful lemony yellows. I have never yet gotten that color. It must be a really diluted bath. That's all I can think of. Here is a second bath. And this is second bath Tussa. Now, if I just compare these two, first bath to second bath, there is a difference, but still very, very gold. And this is second bath uh, Merino Tessa, 80-20. Very gold. And to show you the yellows and compare the yellows so far, remember this is Osage Orange, okay? And this is Weld. So we have quite here, let's put this next to this. Yeah, we have quite an array of yellows. But here's the funny part. What if you want pink? It turns out safflower can give you pinks and corals too if you're willing to take it another step. Now, I haven't done it before and I'm not going to do it today, but I wanna tell you, if you want to play with um, safflower and see what further colors you can get, Get yourself that pillowcase that was mentioned in day number one's video and read the bottom half of the directions that I posted on the study group because it will show you how to extract um, the, the pink or the red dyes after you've extracted the yellow. This is the yellow. You keep going a step further to get to your pinks, apparently a, a bright hot pink that you can get. But uh, you can't do this with wool, you can only do it with silk and cotton, cellulose fibers, and um, it requires shifting the pH. So there's a little, little bit to do with it, but you know what, for the adventuresome, I think it would be great fun to try, and at some point I will. Okay, here's our third yellow in the study group, and uh, I'll see you next time, okay? Thank you.